Hey guys, so it has been so long since I have made a makeup video and I am really, really excited. I really want this to start becoming a regular thing. I know I said that before, but I think I just have to give up on the idea that I'm not going to get some fancy camera. So, you know, girls got, you know, work with what she's got to work with. So I'm making this on my MacBook. Oh well, so lighting's not going to be great. But anyway, I do want this to become more consistent because... Makeup is something I truly, truly enjoy and I'm becoming really passionate about. And I just want to continue to get better and share any suggestions or tips that I've learned along the way with anyone who's interested. I've gotten a ton of, you know, texts and Facebook messages recently asking me, you know, a certain lip product I'm wearing or, you know, this product versus that product. So, you know, I really want to start doing these makeup videos on a more frequent basis. Um... So anyway, I do have a haul video. I went to Sephora and I got some goodies. So I just thought I would share them with you guys along with some products that I've been loving this month and one product that I just can't stand and would not recommend again to anyone. Um, so to start off, I actually want to mention a clothing company, um, it's called Time Los Angeles and I originally heard about them through Casey Hill's um, beauty or YouTube channel. Um, she's one of my favorite beauty gurus and she suggested them and ever since I have been in love with their products. They make sweatshirts and t-shirts, um, cell phone covers, hats, and all sorts of stuff that I really, really love and it's geared towards beauty and makeup. So if you love beauty and you love makeup, I'm sure you would love some of the clothes and accessories that they have out. So to start off, what I'm wearing right now and this sweatshirt is from them. It says Artist Life with the lipstick being the eyes. If you ask me, I think it's pretty dope. Um, and their stuff is really, really affordable too, which makes their site so much better. Um, and then this hat is from them. It has the little studs right here, which I think is just really, really cute. Um, and then one of my favorite things that they have are cell phone covers. I have a Note 3, and it is virtually impossible to find a cover for my phone because people don't make them because my big booty phone just too big booty. It's too big. So some of their um, designs, this is one I can't talk. Um, this one's my favorite. It's like a metallic gold, and it has lipsticks on it. That's one. I'm trying to talk fast because I know. I got a lot to talk about. Um, this one says lipstick addict on it. I also have the shirt that matches that as well. Um, this one says you can't blend with us with a bunch of blending brushes and they all come in different colors too. Um, and they are like 12 bucks. Some of them are even $10. The one I have on my phone right now um, came out around Halloween time and it's a skull hand holding a lipstick which is just I think is really really cute and they're really really adorable too and again anywhere from like 10 to 12 dollars and they ship really really fast so I just wanted to shout them out um, you can check out their website at shoptimela.com if you're interested because their stuff is just really really cute and they also have an Instagram page but I don't know what it is off the top of my head so anyway let's just get into it because I feel like this video is gonna be like ridiculously long and no one wants to sit through a ridiculously long video. So anyway, the first thing I want to mention is this detangling comb because it is just so cute. Um, I really like these things. I keep one in the shower with me, um, but I have never seen one designed like this before. The cool thing about this one is that it comes with a back to it and then it pops right off and you get to the actual brush which is really cool because I've never seen that before because sometimes I mean most times they don't have this and you'll grab like the hair or these like prickly things or whatever but this is kind of cool to have this back on it and then hello 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 it's leopard print come on now it's me so of course homegirl had to have that and for people who don't know I have a horse's mane literally on my head I might as well be a horse because this bad boy is so thick it gets knottier before you can even say naughty um and god forbid I want to lay down and watch a movie and relax you know right after it's going to be not central so these things really do work they get every knot out really really quickly and they don't damage your hair um like other brushes do so really really love him um, the next thing I got was a fan brush for highlighting. It's just a typical Sephora, like, fan brush. It's called the Highlighting Fan Brush. It's number 122. I've tried some of their brushes before and have no complaints and really like them. So I figured why not give this one a try. I've been using this 
for highlighting, which I really, really like, but I've really always wanted a fan brush to, you know, try it out, so I picked that up. So I'm excited for that. Um, the next thing I'm just like restocking because I'm running low on it is the Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. Again, can't talk. Liquid Eyeliner. I cannot say good stuff, good enough stuff about this. Besides, you have to go try it for yourself. This is the best eyeliner I have ever tried in forever. Um, and I've tried everything from pencil liners, gel liners, other liquid liners, and this one has got to be the best along with being my holy grail makeup product. Um, I've tried pencil, but I have really watery eyes, so it tends to make myself look like a raccoon by the end of the day. Um, I, for a long time, I was using Max Black Track with a um, brush, but then you have to carry two things instead of one, and then sometimes the gel like dries out. Um, plus, it's like expensive. And so this is perfect. Um, it goes on so smoothly. Application is so easy. It doesn't give you those ridges. It stays black and doesn't turn gray or fade throughout the day. And this lasts a really long time. So this is the best eyeliner. Trust me on it. If it's not your favorite eyeliner or it doesn't turn out to be your favorite eyeliner, I don't know. I'll buy you a Starbucks or something. Um, the next product I got was this little, like, Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. Um, I like to have one of these with me at all times. Now, I'll admit, I'm not the best at taking off my makeup, which I know it's terrible, terrible, terrible. Don't hate me. Um... But if you're, like, staying out or staying at a friend's house, you know you don't want to get your, you know, makeup on their pillow because that is rude. So I always try to keep some type of little, like, um, like, keep in my purse makeup remover. And I really, really like Clinique's brand um, of it. I also have their um, bigger container of, like, the, the wax that takes it off. And I really, really love it. So I figured I would pick up that. Um, I also t picked up a to-go size or travel size of the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. I love their, their makeup setting spray. I have the bigger one um, for the oil control, and this one is long-lasting. Now, I will say, like, I don't think either of those make a difference. Like, this one doesn't make me oily. The other one stays. So I don't think that the title necessarily matters, but I will say that they work really well, and it's very refreshing after you've put on all your makeup. So I just figured I would get one for my purse. Um, and the next couple products are lip products. Now I will say I have been looking for a really, really deep cranberry red color. And I have yet to be able to find it. Now I know it might seem like a common like lip color. But for tan complexion, like a lot of the colors that show up really dark on a fair skin person just don't show up the same way on someone with a tan complexion. Um, so I've really been struggling to find lip products and I really want to do a holiday glammed up tutorial or makeup look. Um, so I've been looking for some and luckily I found some today. So I'm really excited. The first one is a lip tar from OCC in the shade um, in the shade Black Metal Dahlia and it's this gorgeous, gorgeous um, deep cranberry color with like shimmer to it. The thing I like about OCC, and if I can get it out the package to show you, um, oh my gosh, this one's like really stuck in here. Um, the thing I like about these is that they really stay on for a long time and that a little goes a really long way. You do not need a lot and it stays on. So this is what it looks like. It says really, really, really pretty color, and they come with this little applicator thing, which is nice. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to try that. Along the same lines, um, I got this thing from a brand called Ciate London um, called Glitz, Glitz Fix. Um, and the box looks like this, and I thought her lips looked really friggin' awesome. And it comes with the lip, like a lip primer or base, and then the actual glitter. I was a little apprehensive at first because I didn't want glitter on my lips or like that chunky glitter. Um, but the lady said that, you know, a lot of people have been wearing this to work and really, really enjoy it. And it looks really awesome to add that like pop to your makeup look. So I figured this would also be perfect for a holiday look. And this is what comes in the box. So I'm really excited to try that. The last lippy I have for this mini makeup haul is from um, Kat Von D's line. I really like her makeup line, um, especially her lipsticks in particular, because she carries and creates those really funky, trendy 
shades. Um, similar to like Lime Crime where you look at their shade and you're like, girl, can I pull that off? I don't think I can. But it ends up looking really awesome. A lot of um, makeup brands will have like the nudes and every shade of nude and, and things like that. And they'll have that traditional red color, um, like this red color, but I don't, I don't like that color. Um, and Kat, but Kat Von D kind of goes out the box and creates these really unique trendy shades. So if you're in the look for that, um, I would definitely give her makeup look a try or makeup line a try. Um, and this is the shade Home Girl. Hey, Home Girl. Um, and it's a little bit more on the brown side than the red side, but it's like this deep, deep cranberry esque um, color, which I think I'm really, really gonna love. And it looks like that. Kind of the same shade as my nails which need to be redone because look at that gap um so that's that which i'm really excited again that is in the shade home girl is a matte lipstick oh and the packaging is just really really look at that stud stud studs that is friggin awesome really cute um the la oh oops not last thing um this shadow is from a brand called ardency in i'm like struggling with the bag here if you can't tell um this is what the box looks like the lighting sucks so it's kind of hard to see it um ardency in the first time i've heard about this brand was from jacqueline hill's youtube channel she is another one of my all-time favorite beauty gurus um and she had done a tutorial with a shade called royal which was like a really awesome purple color and so i figured i would take a look at their other colors and i fell in love with this shade called heaven um i thought it'd be perfect for that holiday look i'm looking for it is a shimmery like kind of metallic gold color um they had another gold called like traditional gold, but it was more on this like coppery, like dark side of things. This one's just very, very angelic. Um, and it looks like that, which is probably hard to see because of the light. Um, but it's really, really pretty. And it's the pigmentation of these shadows across the board are just amazing. They are truly, truly beautiful and have awesome pigmentation, especially when combined with Max Fix Plus. You just spray a little bit of your brush, you know, dab it in the eyeshadow and it just pops that color so much more out than before. And this one's already, it's very hard to see because of the light, but I mean, you can see how that's picking up the light. So I can only imagine how this would show up on your eyes, but it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous gold shade. So I'm really, really excited to try that. Um, the last things I picked up in this haul are lotions from a brand that I'm going to butcher their name because I don't know how to say it or pronounce it. Um, but from the brand Loacatane, I don't, that's not how you pronounce it because the guy at the store pronounced it and that's not what he said. Um, I'm just going to say Loacatane. Um, and they're really known for their body, their hand creams, their body creams, their body butters. It's just very, very, very good stuff. Um, I have extremely dry skin. Like my elbows <clears throat> get really dry. My from like my knees down. My face gets dry in the winter. And this stuff really, really works. I put this lotion on over an hour ago, and I can still feel it. Mo like the moisture in my skin. You know how like, there's some lotions where you put it. I'm sorry, you put it on. And like two seconds later, it's like oh, okay, I need to put more lotion on. No, not with this. This stuff is great. Um, and I got it in the um scent honey and rose and it looks like this so I'm really really excited about these um they really smell amazing and they work so so well they are ten dollars each and like as I said their brand tends to be more expensive the whole tub of body butter is like forty five dollars um, and again, these are 10 so I know even $10 for something that small is a little bit steep. Um, so I do want to shout out um, or mention um, a hand cream from EOS that I really, really enjoy that I've been using for like a year now, and I really, really like it. Um, it's still very creamy, and it does last, and the scent in, on this one, this pink one, is really, really good. It's like a florally yet kind of fruity scent it smells really good and they're really sleek and slender so they're easy to pop in a bag and despite their size they have a lot of product inside and these bad boys last a friggin long time so you know this is only like two dollars and seventy five cents so you definitely you know if you're looking for a more cost effective good hand cream this i would definitely suggest um so that is my haul from sephora my mini haul um 
and this is a very eclectic video because I'm having some clothes, I'm having some of everything. And now I want to mention a couple things that I've absolutely been loving so far this month. Um, and it's from Bath and Body Works. They came out with a scent called A Thousand Wishes. And I have the lotion and the, um, the body mist. And oh, I love this scent. It is... It's so good. It smells so good. I wish I could just like shove the scent through the screen so you could smell it for yourselves. Um, but they've been having some really good sales lately, so I would definitely, um, you know, check it out, especially because like for the holidays, for present ideas. But this stuff smells so, so, so good. Um, another scent that I have fallen in love with and might have like took the number one spot or number two spot as far as my favorite scents is something that my friend, my girl Sheree recommended. So thank you Sheree for this. And it is a scent from Bath and Body Works called Mad About You. I cannot tell you how many compliments I get when I put this on. It just, oh, it just smells so good. And I don't typically migrate towards the girlier like floral scents, but this smells so incredible. You just really have to go smell it because it is just so, so good. It's called Mad About You. Um, I get, you know, it lasts a really long time. Even compared to some of my, like, like higher-end perfumes, they don't even last as long as this one. I think the only perfume that I like better than this is Light Blue and come on. So this is just awesome. Go pick it up. I very highly recommend it. Um... Another thing I want to recommend for everyone to try if you like tea, I picked this up recently because I wasn't feeling well and it was delicious. It's from the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf in the flavor Tropical Passion. Um, it is the best tea I have ever tasted. Um, and it says a tropical taste, black tea, passion, and guava fruit flavoring with tropical flavor or tropical flowers. This tea is so, so good and it really did make me feel better. Um, I don't know if that was like my own like psyche or what, but it did, really did make me feel better. The thing I am absolutely loving this month is ah, my Starbucks tumbler. Everyone knows how obsessed I am with Starbucks, and I love this mug. I use it all the time. Um, it's easy to grip because of the studs. They're beautiful. It's very just very nice looking. Got the metal top, and it keeps my drinks really really hot. So. Love this. This is still in stores and online. Um, and then the last thing I want to mention of things that I just would not repurchase and things that, you know, I wouldn't recommend to somebody are the, dis uh, I'm not going to say that because I'm sure people have used it and really like it, but are these mini beauty blenders. Do not let the cuteness deceive you. And I am a huge fan of the Big Beauty Blenders. I love them. It's how I put my concealer and foundation on. But these little guys just aren't cutting it. Um, and they're adorable. And I think that's what gets to people because they see them at the end and they're like, oh, these are so cute. Let me just add them to my basket. But these things are pretty pricey and they just don't work as well as the big ones. You know, they do expand. But even when expanded, they're still so tiny that I think that the concealer just doesn't absorb as well. And it ends up just kind of spreading it to different areas rather than blending it out really smoothly like the Big Beauty Blender does. So I wouldn't recommend that. Obviously, I'm sure that there are some people that absolutely love it. Um, but I was not one of those people. So it's not something I would waste your money on and something I'm not going to repurchase. So anyway, that is it for this video. I'm really excited to be making these and I really hope to be making these on a more consistent basis because makeup is something I'm truly, truly loving and enjoying and it's just something I want to get better at and be able to share with other people because the makeup and beauty world is really big and, you know, it just... I don't know. It's just one of those things that I'm doing for me that makes me truly happy. And I would just love to share some of the things I've learned and picked up along the way with as many people as I could, as I can. So anyway, until next time, I really hope you, you know, enjoy this video. If you have any suggestions as far as like favorite, um, favorite foundations or favorite bronzers, please let me know. And I will really, really try to make the video and watch out for my holiday glam makeup look or tutorial or whatever I'm going to do with that. So till next time, see you guys later.